so there's the Hyatt Regency. That's where I'm going to be going. So I'm here at the Hyatt Regency. That's it right there in the background. And um, I'm going to be meeting some people from the JGoot group, which is a group that I monitor for traveling on the internet. It's on Facebook and they have their own website, jgoot.com. And I'm going to go talk to some people who participate in that travel group and see what the group is all about. So let's go inside and you can join me. So it looks like here's the group right here. And uh, let's say hello. Is one you pay and one you don't, so you get more benefits with one than you get for the other one. It's a dance material that really takes a, a life to go through with you to be able to understand, right? Yeah. The village is there to serve over 50,000 people. And there are people that, you know, they travel maybe once a year. I mean, internationally, every so often, they're looking to figure out how to save one to $5,000 of travel a year. And that's great. There's tons of free material that Joel provides with the Monday live streams and everything. That's just him. He truly believes that everyone deserves at least that. Right. Now, when you want to up that to $10,000 of free travel a year and above, well, that takes more advanced techniques and understanding more advanced material. And um, a lot of people, when they first join, they're like, um, wow, I, I don't understand what you guys are talking about. It's, it's like, very overwhelming. Yeah. Very overwhelming. It's like drinking out of a fire hose. Hello everybody, we're here sitting talking with Shannon Delfino and Shannon has been with Jay Goot quite some time. I'm gonna ask her a couple questions and see what her involvement is with Jay Goot and how she feels about it. So here we go. So Shannon, you've been with Jay Goot now how many years? Ooh, I've been with Jay Goot for a while in the village for probably since 2015, 2016, and then in the lounge since 2021. Well, what first brought you to Jay Goot? You had, you had told me that you were using their alerts before. Tell mm -hmm. us about that and what's going on now. Right, so um, being in the village, I did have a subscription to their uh, trip alerts, which was great. So from my home airport, I would get all these great deals, the top 10 to 20% of cash deals out there. They could be mistake there, it's fair dumps, whatever. But it made it really easy for me to just find a quick, cheap flight for me, my kids and my husband. That sounds awesome. So so tell me about how Jay Goot would help other people in the village and what the advantages are of joining the village and, and that type of thing and how you help people. Yeah. So, the Village is Joel's free site. There are over 50,000 members and he provides a ton of material to help a lot of people to get an extra one to $5,000 worth of free travel. Um, you know, there are people that don't travel as often as I do or the other members of the lounge. I, before the lounge, I traveled one to three times a year. Now I travel one to three times a month. So you can take it to wherever you want to take it. Um, it can help everyone in how to earn your points more exponentially, how to redeem them more judiciously or frugally, if you will. Um, make sure you're getting every bit of value that you can out of them. Um, how it's helped me is, you know, I can give my kids experiences, things that can never be taken away. You can outgrow your shoes, you can outgrow your clothes or trends, but these experiences, my kids will never outgrow. So that's the true value that it's brought for me. Um, and it's generational wealth. My 11 year old knows my statuses as well as I do. My 22 year old, she can't get the same cards that I have, but she understands the power of points. So when she wants to make some crazy purchase, she messages me and says, hey, you know, can you do your points thing and I'll send you the cash. So it's definitely a team effort. Okay, so we're talking about points. 
Tell us about what are the best earning uh, credit cards to have when it comes to points. Yeah, so um, JGU advocates for two cards, primarily your first two. So an American Express that earns membership reward points, that's a platinum, a gold, or a green card. And then a Chase Sapphire card. There are two, preferred and reserve. Which one you get depends on you and what your category spends are and what makes sense for your life. But um, they are the most flexible points. They have the most travel partner opportunities. Um, which means that you have a lot of buying power. It's, they're fighting for your business at that point. So you look and see what the best deal out there is and whichever it is, you're ready for it. Okay, so we've heard some talk um, on the Jay Goot Lounge and um, on the live talks about multipliers. Mm -hmm. uh, can you briefly explain that to us? Sure. So, um, Many people don't realize the difference between cashback and actually earning points. So cashback just gives you a very set redemption. You know, you spend a certain amount of money and you get 2% back at the end of the year. If, uh, to give an example, I have a Chase Sapphire Reserve. Um, and that means that anything that codes to travel for me, hotels, uh, trains, planes, automobiles. Every time I spend, for every $1 I spend, I get three points. That is an earning multiplier. So I don't, I won't settle for one point per dollar spent. I go for at least two. My best, my best earning multiplier is 100 points per dollar spent. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So one example of um, earning multipliers I had heard you speak about was the uh, Rakuten um, mm -hmm. store. Um, can you just briefly tell us how that works? Sure. So Rakuten is a shopping portal. Um, many companies pay them to advertise. Um, and the way they compensate, um, you have two choices. You can take cash back, which not the JGU way, or you can tie an American Express card that earns membership rewards. That's the platinum, the gold, the green. Um, so bought my son some tennis shoes. It was $150. I could have gotten $15 back, cash back on Rakuten, but because my American Express is tied up to them, I got 1,500 points, which is going into a bucket of points and when I am ready to redeem I will redeem them for you know seven to ten cents per point and those are transferable inside your um, American Express account or is it just sitting in the Rakuten account nope they every quarter they will transfer them directly to your American Express account so that when there is a an amazing offer because there are multiple partners that American Express has where they do transfer bonuses. You never know who or when or how much it's going to be, but you log in on what's November 20th now. So December 1st, you log in and there is a 30% transfer bonus to Aeroplan, which is the Air Canada currency. So you transfer the points in and for every 1,000 points you transfer, you get 1,300 points. So now you've just knocked down the point cost of your flight by 30% because you got 30% for free. Um, that's the power of those good flexible points. So it sounds as though there's some really, really great advantages to, to learning the Jay Goot way sounds like there's a lot of moving parts <laughs> um are there people that will help people who join use use the service or are they jumping in with both feet and you know what am i going to do right so in the lounge it is the paid coaching program and that is what you get you get live coaches that are working with you um on live zoom sessions so Unlike the live streams on Mondays where 
they're talking out and if you ask a question in the comments, you kind of hope that they get to you. Um, on these checkpoints, they're live interactive. And if you're looking at Kira's screen, let's say, cause she's earning multiplier and stacking strategy expert. And you say, wait, Kira, I didn't see how you got to that screen. Can you go back? She's like, sure, absolutely. Or, hey, Kira, you talked about this card and that card, but I have this card what would you recommend? Or my strategy is I'm going for this status or that status, these are the cards I have. What do you recommend? Each of these experts are really smart, if not straight up geniuses. I mean, doctors that speak three languages, geniuses with photographic memories. Mm -hmm. They're hard to replicate, but yes. And like me, if you wanna talk travel, all day, every day. These checkpoints are supposed to be an hour, but they will routinely go over that because each expert tends not to end a session until all the questions are answered. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, <laughs> being out here in Phoenix and uh, meeting up with local loungers. I mean, community is such a big part of this for me. Um, I've made great friends. Um, introduce them to my husband and my child. Uh, I look forward, I will go on all the meetups and trips just to spend more time with them. It's an incredible community. Um, and you know, if I went back in time and you asked me if I do it again, a thousand percent. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you. We just took this great tour of the suite. Tell us how you got it and how much it cost. Absolutely. So I found this room online for $230. Um, and I got a ton of points off of it and a night towards my status. So um, it worked out really, really well. But 
membership has its privileges. And this is a Hyatt property, right? This is a Hyatt property. I'm a Hyatt loyalist. I'm a Hyatt globalist. Um, and when you concentrate on one thing, good things happen. So this is why I love being a globalist. Bye guys. Well, that was interesting and enlightening. Anyway, as always, I'm Jeff with Miss America USA saying, please watch us, please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.